So in this lesson, we're going to cover some actual sky replacement using the technique you just saw in the previous lesson for the text effect. We're going to be using the keyer. We're going to be keying out this boring looking sky. And my buddy Reed here, I don't know if I told you this, but he is a professional jumper. And so he was he was jumping one day and was like, hey, Zach, you want to come film me jumping? And I was like, sure. So he got his Nerf gun and started shooting and jumping. And, you know, he's not he's not half bad. When the Olympics opens up a jumping competition, he will definitely be in it. Probably not. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the keyer like we did in the last lesson. Throw it on that sky replacement. It does a decent job at keying, but we need our sky. So in your downloads folder, you have a file called blue sky. Drop and drag that underneath. You also can go on Google and just go ahead and type in sky or blue sky or whatever and make sure the dimensions are larger than your footage so this dimension 720 this blue sky image I believe is like 3,000 pixels wide by I don't know a thousand or it's big so just make sure you know the dimensions are good for your project make sure it's royalty free or someone doesn't own the rights to it and then you're good to go so since mine's so big I'm gonna make it larger and let me zoom out here you want it outside the edges because if we track the footage especially if it's a shaky shot the sky is going to need room to move in order to track correctly so now that we've got that in or you've googled for your own we're going to go ahead and track the motion down here in the folder motion tracking analyze motion and I'm going to actually put it on a tree you have if you remember in math class you have x axis the y axis is up and down and then z which is space in terms of distance from from here to that tree which would be probably a couple hundred feet away behind him on the hill the sky is closest in the Z position to the background so we're gonna either track something back here like this tree I'm gonna try this darker contrasted spot make sure we're actually in the beginning of the footage though and then go ahead and hit analyze Okay, nice. So we've got it tracked. Now what we need to do is add the match move to the blue sky. So go ahead and come back to the same folder, motion tracking, and match move. Nice. So drop and drag, analyze motion into the source well. And it's tracked on there. Cool. And if you need to do any adjustments in the keyer, for this shot we really don't. Uh, one thing I would do, maybe you can turn down the strength if you wanted to blend it more with the original sky but then what you're dealing with is if I zoom in here the spill along the tree edges so if you keep the strength high it's a little better you'll notice my bud shirt here Reed is starting to be a little opaque so you might want to turn that down just a little bit to help fix that problem but double check you have got a good track okay now what we want to do is the sky and the ground aren't quite matching in terms of uh, the hue, the color correction. So go to filters. We're going to go to color correction. Let's look at our filters here. We got hue and saturation. It's just what I need. Throw that on. You can either throw it on the sky or the ground. If we want to match the ground to the sky, we could do you know, color correction on the actual footage. But I'm going to put it on the sky because I think that's what's more out of place so hue wow so saturation I'm gonna bring it down a little bit not too much though because we still want color in it and skies aren't gray so go to the left I've dropped it down a little bit you can also adjust the levels if you want make it darker or we can make it brighter which I'm gonna do a tad bit okay so to me that is a lot better in terms of matching and it's definitely way cooler than this boring background just look at that I mean come on so that's how you do some sky replacement so go out there start making your skies look great and don't forget you can google some incredible sky replacement images 
to really make your shots pop out more. 